Hey, everybody. I thought I'd show you something cool, uh, or at least uh, a tool that I use a lot, is just the kind of tools that I use to make lines, which really it's pencils. Um, but I got a few other things in there. So I just thought I'd go over these with you in case um, it took me a long time to figure out the best pencil for me um, and that could make a mark. So I use these Derwent Graphic 8B pencils. And I'm using them on acrylic paintings and oil paintings. And the reason I like these is because they're really soft and I can put them on, um, like they, oh, they're very soft and they can kind of just, it doesn't scratch the paint. I can really draw on here. This is a little wet, but like, like they're great, you know, and I would spray fix this on here or whatever. So, you know, normal pencils, you just, it doesn't work as well really at all. It's, um, it, it doesn't, they're too hard and they scratch the painting, it doesn't work. So these are, I use these, tons of these things. The other thing I use a lot of are these. These are carpenter's pencils and they are, you get them at a lumber yard, they're really hard and they're for, you know, guys building houses, marking two by fours and stuff. But what I like about them is that they're really good for, you know, they're making, you can make thin lines with it like you, they're hard, so you can like cut into it, and then you can also um, scrape. Like I'm scraping through the paint here because it's 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 thin and it's thick. Like it's thin and it's thick. So I use these a lot. They're super. They're super strong. You know, if I want to scratch through something, or you know, they're, so they're really good. Um, the other thing I use is these um, graphite bars. Um, it's probably easier to show you here. I just, you know, I can use it as a, um, where's a good place? And it just, it leaves graphic residue where there's high points on the picture. So I don't, you know, it's not gonna make a perfect, um, if it was on paper, it would be really, you know, like you could use it that way. But when you use it this way, it just kind of paints on the highlights, you know, just kind of like leaves these marks. On the, on the actual paint, so that's really cool. This paint's a little wet, so it's a little tricky to show, but these are good. And then this is the similar thing, but it's a quarter inch. It's a graphite stick, it's about a quarter inch. And same thing, like I'll use these. It's a perfect, perfect square. And so um, I can just, see that it like leaves this beautiful line on here. And it takes a few minutes to build up. But you see how that, it's pretty cool. And then I can adjust it because it's graphite. See that? But it's just really even. It's a quarter inch. Okay, so that's another good one. <laughs> um, and, then, um, and then the other tool I use a ton is an awl. And you can get this at a hardware store. This is really nice for scraping in, uh, making really clean lines. It's you know, it's like a little hard needle and you can just, you know, you can really get in there and you can remove the paint, you know, you can scrape through, which I do a lot of, you know, or just scrape into the actual paint. So these are really good. Also, if you want to make holes, you can dig into it. You know, these are on painting, these are on panels. So, um, but I use that a lot um, for just scratching and then I also use this a lot. This is a small little screwdriver, and it, God, that's got to be about a sixteenth of an inch. And it allows me to take off a little bit more. I can just angle the screwdriver and get my line a little thicker. I can kind of cut any thickness line I want um, with this. So I use this a lot. And then I also use, this is an old screwdriver, and you can see it's, I mean, I've scraped with it so much. It's about 3 16 of an inch, and it's worn the screwdriver down, but I really use it for scraping through. Like here, if I want to bring this back up, it takes, goes, goes right in like that. So um, those are the tools pretty much that I use. Oh, no, there's one more. This is a, um, these are ceramic tools. There's a lot of really cool ceramic tools you can get. And this is really, really fine. So um, I can just get in like with tiny little details. Um, you know, dental tools and ceramic tools. These are really good. So I use this one as well. So anyway, that, that should cover you. That's what um, I have. That's I've been using the same ones for a long, long time. So um, let me know your thoughts. And if you're seeing this any other place, 
then um, my blog on my site, um, go on over to artslife.com and uh, check out all we have for you. Thanks a lot. Okay, bye.